toughest strongman in history, right here. It's not a beauty contest, it's a strongman. Welcome to the Giants Live podcast, and today we have basically the, not even the king, he's, he's more like the emperor of strongman. He's, he's the absolute legend, uh, who is the current reigning world's strongest man over 50. We have- uh, he has been to the world's strongest man competition, a venerable 17 times. Three times he's been a finalist, the highest finish there, fourth in 2006, the year Mr. Fister won. Um, he's been multiple world champion in the grip championships. Uh, he's competed at Britain's Strongest Man numerous times. He's won, almost won at once. He has kind of won at once in another federation when there was a federation split. The yeah. Anyway, we could go on all day. He has so many uh, incredible accolades. And he happens to also probably have the accolade. Well, he is the Jim Pollock trophy winner which is uh, an award given at World's Strongest Man in 2022 uh, for personality, uh, generosity of spirit, good sportsmanship, Mark Felix. Here he is. <laughs> Sadly, there's no crowd to cheer you, Mark. Yeah. It's just, uh, we're just in a little office room, pretending it's a podcast room. Uh, but you are still in great shape. You are 56 and three quarters years old, right? Yeah, well, it's 50 um Almost 57, that's going to be in April. And you finally gave in and competed in the over 50 Masters World Strongest Man this year. Yep. And you absolutely hammered everybody. You were the outstanding, probably at the biggest margin in victory in any category, I think it's fair to say. Why didn't you do it before? Well, because I think I was good enough to do the, um, the over 40s. So. I was, I was saving my energy to do a, do other competition like the Brits and stuff. But you, so I mean, you were taking on Zadrunas well, still. I mean, Zadrunas is the reigning champion. Of oh, yeah, I would have taken him on there. Yeah. He think, was to compete against I think, I think I was fit enough to, to take, uh, strong enough to take him on. What was your best finish in the over 40s? I think I won before. You, actually won, you, you won the over 40s. Uh, well, did, uh, you, did you win it in Doncaster? No, that was Nick Best many years ago. You actually won the over 40, you can't even remember. I can't remember. <laughs> He's won that many world titles, you can't even remember. <laughs> you did win it. No, Nick Best won that one. Nick yeah. Best won one at Doncaster. Anyway, Mark, uh, you have the most extraordinary career, and it used to be my belief. I saw you in one of your first contests. Yeah. 2003 in Wolverhampton? Yeah. It was a real rainy car park, miserable day. And it was a, like a local council car park, and I, I even remember saying to the crowd, do you know what, folks, it's probably quicker if I introduce you to, to the athletes. <laughs> there, was, there was like three people in the crowd with driving rain. And, mate, I, I can just remember, you, 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 there was a really good lineup of guys here. Fraser Tranter put it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Glenn Ross went out and deadlifted. And I said to you, oh, go on, what, 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 do you think you can actually do this way, mate? Because you were there, big biceps, you looked great. But you were like some bodybuilder guy who hadn't done any strongman you were already 34 at that age and you're only just starting no, strongman I was I started strongman when I was 37 37 you were yes you, of course you're 57 that was only 20 or was about 20 years ago hey yeah. 37 years old yeah and you were just starting yes that you know that was your first year yeah first year how how, how many contests have you done before that I went one not two. one I think you said to me one yeah. at the time <laughs> and Mark I said Glenn Ross walks out who's one of the strongest men at that time, been to the Arnolds, king of the deadlift there, was Britain's strongest man at least three times. And he pulled seven reps on this brutal car. Everyone else pretty much zeroed it. And there were good guys there. And I said, what do you think you're going to do, mate? Just to kind of, th- kind of slightly amusing myself with, with, to the crowd that wasn't even there. And he went, ah, I think I won 14. <laughs> <laughs> and he did 14. Yeah. Maybe 15. I, my jaw dropped. I looked at this guy. I said, "My God, we have a superstar of strength here. This guy's off the scale." Well, the thing about it, um, when, I, when I, I didn't know anything about strongman until I came to England, and then I was watching TV, and I see Sue Jonas and those guys and them lifting weight, and I was like, I look at the way they was lifting and squatting, and I was like, 
you know, I could do, I do this kind of weight in the gym, uh-huh. huh? squatting 250. You're, you're a good squatter. Squat. No, you're a really good. I, I remember. Yeah, I'm I, me- I remember sticking you in a, in a heap of squat and Britain's strongest man in 07 in, in Minehead. And, and, and I remember I said, oh, Mark, you're all right, mate. Can you squat? Because you were the king of deadlift. Yeah. Let's be honest. You haven't, your calves aren't huge, right? Mate, I don't know about huge calves. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> and I, I was like, dude, are you going to be all right with this squat? And you crushed it. You absolutely you killed yeah, it. My squat is not a bad. Um, well, you're good, aren't you? Squat, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, your deadlift. Let's start back at the beginning, because you're the most fascinating character I, I think I've ever met. You're the most incredible hard work, first and foremost, also combining with some outrageous genetics, Mark. Yeah. You, you, you're an awful luck. H- how old did your grandmother live to? I love this well, fact. It, it, <laughs> my grandma, she, she um, lived to she 106 years old. 106 years old. Yeah. T- tell us. I mean, well, she had all of her faculties. She was blind in the end, wasn't yeah. she? At 106, but was everything else all right? Yeah, everything was right. She used to get up every day, walk from the bedroom to the veranda, back up with eight, nine, ten times, just so she could keep moving. Wow. And she sit down and she's just looking at whatever. <laughs> just, wow. Did you go on? You on well with her, didn't you? you oh, I had my favorite grandma. I still think I with her every day. Wow, mm. and the and the Felix the Felix families, you're from a sort of patch of Grenada, aren't you? Certainly, kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Grenada, yeah. It's a big family. Yeah, yeah. T- tell me, how, how, tell me the stories about when you were a kid and you you, you you need. What did you often eat as a kid? You did you all go fruits, fishing? You, you go off- fishing, the fruits, everything. How, you just go, but, you, but how did you fish? We should spear fish. Go spear shoot, fishing, yeah. yeah. Go and just dive and shoot fish, come back, cook on the beach, or just cook home, whatever. Sometimes we used to go on weekend, we used to stay in the cave. Just do the thing. That's cool, man. Stay in the cave. It's just so cool, though. Shoot fish, eat, and then. What age? What age? How young were you? In, in, in my teens and stuff. In your teens? Yeah. And when you were a wee boy, did you have a, t- a tough life at all when you were growing up? Oh yeah, it was tough. It wasn't easy, you know, for us going up. I mean, we was proper, you know, poor mm. growing up. You know, I used to go to school like beef, feet and stuff like that when everybody going out have a good time. As soon as you come from school, straight to the garden. That's it, no time to play and stuff like that. I just go get up next morning, the same thing over and over. When you, you did work quite early on? Mm-hmm. You, were you working quite early on, physically? Physically, yeah, because we had loads of animals as well. So we had to get up early in the morning, 5.36, go feed the animals, go in the garden. We have to walk like, I don't know, like two miles to go to the garden. So go to the garden and come back. So you had a garden different from where you lived? Oh yeah, so we are two miles away. So we have to do that every single day, like twice a day. What, what, was it was a vegetable. You were obviously great. You actually have we used everything from corn, sweet potato, that our veg, sugar cane, loads of sugar cane. Really? Oh yeah, sugar cane. Everything is manual, so we have to carry it on our shoulder, carry it on our head, or whatever. And how young yeah. would you be when you first started working on the farm or on the little on the? Oh, as far as as a kid, little kid. Oh yeah. So I've been always work growing up, like since since I could walk, really. Yeah. And, and, and you, did you live with that grandmother? Is that right? I lived with my grandma. Well, yeah. From what age did you live with granny? Well, when my, when my mom, she died when I was two years old. Then I went and lived by some other people. I, I didn't even know her brothers and sisters. I went and find out her brothers and sisters. Then I went and lived with them. That we were right with my grandma. So you, you were looked after by some people who... Yeah, who, who, because your mom died and because your dad was there, died. so you 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 got looked after. What age did you realize you had brothers and I sisters? Was, I think I was five. You realized you had fat, yeah. Uh, yeah. How many brothers and sisters have you got? I have um, five sisters, seven brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah when well, yeah. yeah, twelve, right? No, thirteen, including you. Yeah, and then how, how? What number were you in the order? I was in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. So I used to eat all the food. <laughs> That's great, man. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, so you then you did just twelve brothers, twelve siblings, and then, and then and then are you all friends? 
Yeah, I still talk to them, man. Yes. Brothers and sisters, yeah. How, are most of them live in Grenada? No, I have two sisters. She, they live in Miami. Miami. And then the rest. So I have but, one sister that died a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So then, at what age? And this is this is because this is one of the first things I got out of you when I was chatting in that car park in Wolverhampton. And I said, what, what sport have you been doing beforehand, Mark? And you said, well, I, I did a bit of bodybuilding, but I, you didn't compete, did you? Well, I did compete. You did compete? Yeah. Ah, I, well, well, I don't, this is something I don't know about you. We've known each other for two decades more. Well, I did compete, um, I did Central American, Caribbean. One you bit did? Function, yeah. What'd you uh, do with them calves, sir? What were you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that was one of my big bit because that was, I was, you know, I'm tall, you know, so that's one of my. You are very tall. You were taller though, I, and I, this is something I want to have. I want to pick a yes. pick a bone with you. It, you were six four. I was six four. I'm six two. Yeah. I reckon you're six two now. Well, maybe six. I'm uh, taller than you. <laughs> right, maybe six well, two I, and a half. I mean, you definitely got shorter, right? Yeah, is that fair to say? Shorter. Yeah, I'm not six four anymore. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Is that because of weightlifting or could you think because of age? It could be age and, you know, carrying all those <laughs> heavy yoke. You were a taller man when I first yeah. met you. I, I'm absolutely certain of it. Yeah. Good, okay. We'll have to change your Wikipedia page. Right, you know. <laughs> yeah. hey, in, 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 in 2015, he'd be 6'3". You know, yeah, it was true. Um, maybe he'd be like, probably be like 5'9 when he finished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still kicking ass. Um, so you, how many bodybuilding contests do you do? I did quite a few. I did uh, like three back in Central America and Caribbean. And then when I came here, I did. I used to do natural bodybuilding. By yeah, way. I know. You've, you've always been yeah. very keen on that. Yeah. And then I did a couple here. And I, did you, and then you, I, had, you had massive arms when I met you. Yeah, and then I discovered Strongman. Yeah. You know? But before that, you went to the boats, right? You worked on I cruise ships. I worked on cru cruise ships, yeah. I worked on cruise ships. For, I left home when I was 20 years old. And you met your wife there and you had three kids. Yeah. So did the, did the kids come after the cruise ships? They quit. The kids come after the cruise ships, yeah. So after cruise ships, um but, but you but what was your job on the cruise ship? I used to work in food and beverage. You you were the cocktail barman, weren't you? Yeah. And near me and I make it. You I can make it you make a I cocktail. I still remember them. But you don't even drink. No. You've never drunk. You've have you ever drunk ever? I did I drink just a little bit, but not to get drunk, I have never seen you drink, Mark. Yeah, I don't. Plus, if I feel about drink, I wouldn't drink hard liquor. What is beer? I might have a beer or oh, Guinness. I've never seen. Oh, maybe a red wine. Really? Yeah. You're getting soft in your old age. You're not soft. You can kind of look after your liver. I'm joking. I'm joking. Kid me. You, you know, no. I, I, yeah. Do you know? You're the one guy I can. I, I can picture uh, on numerous occasions when 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 we'd hop off a plane or something, starving. You wouldn't, you would never eat junk food. You would just rather, for some reason, it would seem like you'd almost rather starve than eat bad food. Yeah. Is that fair to say? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's not very good for you as a junk food, is it? I mean, you used to always go on about me you know, when I was eating cookies or something. It made me feel guilty. But you, you really do and have always lived by that. Everything in moderation. Yeah. You, 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 you try and keep things quite simple, don't you? You eat lots of... What do you eat? I mean, what, how do you, because you're in, if I had to pick a physique of any world's strongest man, I'd pick yours, Mark. At uh, oh. 57, no, nearly, you still got the best physique. <laughs> but what, what do you do? Work on it, yeah. You have to work on it. Just work on your physique, you know. You have to look after him. You have to treat it like a tip. I've been doing that. I've been doing smart work. <laughs> it's powerful. There's power now. Like that. No. Uh, but yeah, did, did, did you, did you actually follow any, did you follow any fancy diets or, or did you just, Base. What do you do? What do you I, just, I don't fancy. I don't follow any fancy diet. I just eat sensible. You know, if you eat sensible, you exercise and stuff like. that. What do you eat in the morning for breakfast? I have porridge with, with had some porridge. I used to have with a mix of that porridge with a little bit of um, as, as, as cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah, and then I have that for breakfast. Fruits. Fruits, fruits, yeah, I have fruits sometimes. Yeah, I have fruits all the time. Where's the protein? When, we, when do you do the protein then? I do um, sugar free protein. You do the sugar free protein drinks? Yeah. Sugar free? Sugar free. But it doesn't taste very nice. How do you make it? Well, taste? to be honest, the thing with me, if I used to eat this and how it tastes like, I wouldn't be eating. 
So you don't no. eat for pleasure always? I don't eat for pleasure always now. No. I eat for what could get for me. What you get for the always. Have you ever have you, have you ever eaten a cookie? I have cookie, but not much. Cookie very sweet, you know. Hmm. Cake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you ever had a Mac, you ever had a you ever had a McDonald's? Have you ever eaten I a McDonald's? McDonald's? Yeah. You have had a McDonald's? Yeah. When was this? Can you remember the day? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had one, but I do have a McDonald's. Every so often I might have something. When you go to, because I want to, I want, if, I, if I eat you, I'd like you, maybe I can, I can start to look a bit more. When, when you go to Mickey D's, what, what should I choose? You could, you could choose um, a chicken wrap. Chicken wrap. But what about the old double cheeseburger? The old, the old you quarter pound of double cheeseburger, man. You could stay away from those unless you're going to go to the gym after. Hmm. Enough about Mickey D's. I, I, I could ask you how many times you'd won in deadlift uh, in, in World Strongest Man, but really I should ask you, when was the first time you actually lost in deadlift at World Strongest Man? Because you dominated it for years, yes. I think that's fair to say. Do you remember when you well, I, finally lost? I, can, I don't know when I finally lost, but it's one time I remember losing to um, Novikov. Novikov? Oh, so yeah. it's recent. Well, yeah, when, when, his, when his deadlift was all the way down his ankle with this um, pick up his straps. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, I wasn't yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember. He, he definitely could push source. Yeah. Here's, an, here's a story about Novikov, which I love. What year did you do uh, the Black Sea's Strongest Man? The Black Sea's, I can't. It's quite a long time ago. I think I was 2008, 2000. Yeah, seven, six, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Do you know you met a, I think it was even earlier, because you did a few, a couple of them, did you? You were yeah. a guest lifter in, yeah. in the, in the, was that what the name of the, con was it, it was in Odessa, the city in of Odessa. Odessa. Yeah. Sadly, it's caught up in these problems now, but yeah. Um, beautiful city, isn't it? It's, it's really nice. I've only yeah. seen it on TV it's now, but yeah, nice, yeah, really nice. Yeah. So you went along as the guest and do you know there was a, a, a six, because you did, must have done it quite early. There was a six to, or seven year old boy mm. who got a photo with you. I can't remember him. Do you know, do you know, do you know who that boy was? Well, I think you said it was Novikov, yeah. It was Novikov. Yeah. Novikov met you when he was about seven years old and has a photo with you winning as a guest in Odessa. And he was just in awe of you. Go oh, ahead. And he, he, and and he told me that, how cool it was to actually compete with Mark Felix when he, was, <laughs> when he won the World's Strongest Man at 24. Yeah. You were still there. He was there. I know. I'm still here. Yeah. You're still there. You're still here. I, I, see, I, I, I sometimes wake up in a cold sweat at night fearing there will be a day when you're not there. But uh, hopefully it's, it's never happened yet So yeah. you know, in most of my lifetime. So. <laughs> uh, it's amazing, Mark. It's a, and, and, and all these years, you, yeah. you've, you've, you've kept very humble and you've always lived a very frugal life. And I think you still do. Do you still work hard being a plasterer? Is that, is that still something you do now? Oh, yeah, I was, I was working yesterday. Huh? I was plastering yesterday. That's not an easy job, is it? I did some no, plastering job. recently. It was, it was a really, I nearly phoned you up actually to yeah. get your advice. <laughs> it's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work, you know. It's why you take practice, a lot of practice. The, the forearms, it's quite brutal on the old yeah. yeah. forearms and everything, yeah. You're always on your feet. Yeah. Uh, how many, how often do you work? A couple of times a week? Six, seven, five, six days a week. So you work six days a week? Yeah. Do you? That's outrageous, yeah. man. Yeah. How, do you, how do you do it? Is that the secret? Everybody else tries to become a full-time pro and then lay around in bed uh, trying to save their calories, but you are the longest-serving pro by a long way, and yet you've, you've always been at least a sort of six days a week, even seven days a week at one point. Yeah, it's seven days a week. Well, the thing about me with that is because before I just used to do strongman as well, just strongman. But after coming up from this high and this low, I needed something to do. So I, that's why I went straight back to work. That's one of the reasons why I just keep doing it. It's because of the high and low. I don't, I don't understand what you mean by high and low exactly. Uh, one minute you hear a million people screaming at you, and the next minute you go home, I just you. You think it's good for you to keep you in, so keep you in check? Yeah, just keep me in check. Yeah. So I go back home, get my mind off. 
artists so it's just got to swim back I think there's a few strong men who could do with, with a bit of that a bit of six days a week plastering but sure but soon no, they, they could do something else <laughs> rather than going home and just going on this low they could find they could do something else to take their mind off white but it's hard work mm. I think the Russians used to have this theory about calorie using calories up they used to who's that guy Alexeyev the weightlifter they used to like drive him around in the in the, in the golf carts we didn't burn calories yeah. <laughs> so we could get bigger and bigger and lift more weights do you not think it would actually have you ever thought of just semi-retiring for a bit to take your strong man seriously one day <laughs> how good you could be <laughs> i'm just i'm not being serious in a way yeah yeah if i if i semi-retire i will be i will be training more hard i'll be going to the gym at least twice a day just to one day calm yourself and stuff i need to do that Okay, so you're, 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 you're three lads. Mm. Last time I saw one of your lads, he was about 13 and he had hands bigger than me. He, are they, are they, have they, how big are the lads? Are they gonna, any of them going to do strongman or, or not? You, Medley, Journey, and Felden? Felden, yeah. Are they, also, are they all, all big, strong guys? Or are, are they, are they have different, different light, interests in life? Well, they have different interests. Um, Medley, he's going to be very strong if he wanted to strongman. He was the little one. Yeah. He was, he was tiny one, wasn't he? When I first met him. He was tiny, but he always had big hands, big feet, always yeah. powerful. He wasn't chubby when he was a kid, boy. He was always... I think I, met, I think I met him when he was about two. Yeah. He, and he had about size four feet, but then he was yeah, just... He was, <laughs> he was always solid, very solid. And yeah, he's been like that short as all. He was, like, yeah. solid, yeah. How old is he now? He's in 17. 17, crikey. Now, I, I remember one year, in, I was in Minehead, he used to came and hung out. I think he came, tried to give me his teddy bear or something else. He, well, he was a good guy. Yeah. But, but uh, the year before that, we were in the Isle of Man. Uh, I sort of feel like I've, I've got to kind of, a, you know, admit something, you know. And there was the Isle of Man, and then the year before, there was the IFSA Britain's Strongest Man. Yeah. Or British Championships. And then there was a Britain's Strongest Man that I ran. Yeah. In 04. You won the British Championships. Yeah. And, and to be fair... I don't think I'm doing my contest a disservice by saying the best guys were over there. Yeah. But I, I, because it was the wrong thing, we never recognized it as Britain's Strongest Man. No. But I think, I, f I feel like I have to sort of say it out loud mm. that we've shortchanged you badly. Yeah, you, you deserve to be called a Britain's Strongest Man winner. <laughs> you really do, Mog. Yeah. You'd be all the best guys in, the, in, in that year. Yeah. By some, there were some good guys, yeah, the best. Yeah. And you won by a good margin. And ever since then, when that whole IFSA thing collapsed and everyone came back over, even the next year, you then won it again. Yeah. But you didn't. I do you did. remember that day? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Don't tell us about it. That was comeback. Yeah. It's a comeback, yeah, and it shouldn't even be in a comeback. <laughs> you can't have one. You got to have one winner. Yeah, it shouldn't even be in a comeback. Had, would you, okay, would you have won if it was done on the last event? You would have done because it was Farmer's Walk. Yeah, you would have won if we'd have done it on today's system, which is always the last event, fastest. Yeah, yeah. it's in the Stones, world's strongest man. So you again, you got kind of cheated, yeah. kind of by me again. So I, feel, I feel bad, man. So I just I feel like this is sort of like yeah. a, a bit of a therapy session. Well, to, at least um, you admit it now, but <laughs> the, um, the, well, I'm I'm fucking the stuff. You know, it's, I mean, even that don't talk about it. I mean, it's it's there. I'm going to call you two times yeah. Britain's strongest man. It's, it's, I think it's wrong. Yeah. I feel bad, it's, man. It's, it's there. It's in disguise. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 but what other? I mean, I have to say, there's so many great things about. But you've always been very kind, and, and, and never. I don't think you and I have ever had a cross word. Even any decision, you, 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 you always are so sporting. Uh, truly, I, 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 I'm kind of in awe of you for being. So yeah, you know, most of the rest of us have lots of terrible, um, you know, personality flaws. But you, you're. Even when someone gets injured, you're the first man there to pick him up. You're just a, you're a quite good guy, Mark. And you know, all these years, I've, I've been admi I, I, admiration. And I and I, I so I'm going to call you two times Britain's strongest man from now on. Yeah, I, I said, you're going to join the laws at that level. Yeah, um, that's good. That's so good. only Eddie's above you, I think. Maybe maybe Jeff Capes. Yeah. But um, what fourth at world strongest man was your best finish? It was my best finish. Yeah. Do you remember that final? I remember that final when Don Pope. 
stick his belt tight and put a stone on, on it to do this bit. Who was the ref? Who was the ref, man? You should have complained. I, I, I don't know. And even in the Bahamas. <laughs> was it was me, mate. I was. Yeah, even in Bahamas. cheap. What are you talking about? Wait, when, which event? Oh, Dan Pope. I mean, oh, last stone, when, when I was up against him, I stone. Oh, this, this, this is the other stone? Yeah, he's, I th- don't think we was allowed to use the belt as leverage. So he's pulled his belt, stick his belt out with that, put it, put it on, put a stool on it, and he lifted it up. I, you I, didn't see well with us. I know I didn't see it, but mm-hmm. but it's partly because you guys were facing the walls. Yeah, plus, plus it was raining a lot that day. Heavy. It's so minute, you might have a run in on that stone. Yeah. And everything went against Marius, if you remember. Yeah. Because he wanted a run in. He was complaining like mad when I changed it to a one, just one step away. Yeah. Because Big Phil is suited, Big Phil. Yeah, it was raining a lot. But I couldn't, there was nothing we could do. It was, it was dangerous as hell. It was dangerous, yeah. And that was, that was, that, I think that's one of the most exciting comebacks. Yeah. It was, it was a good show. Yeah. It was a great show, wasn't it? Yeah. What was your favorite World's Strongest Man ever? Can you remember all 17 of them? Well, I did like that. Also, in 2008, that was, I was pretty strong in 2008. You came. The only reason in 2018, um, be fifth. You know, I didn't. I didn't make it. I would make the final. That was when Derek Ponstone um, ended up. He and Marius coming down to the last event in. At the, in the, um, did he? Did he mess you up for making the final in this? No, I tore my bicep on the fourth stone, and I went to the fifth stone, and I just couldn't do the fifth stone. What if I had to get the fifth? You tore your bicep, didn't you? But he did. He twist his ankle. No, no, no. He ended up in the final. He but ended up in the final. Kev was winning it. Yeah, but if I didn't, if I didn't get a fifth stone, he would have been out. He would not qualify. It would be Jason Bergman. Yeah, I know that's a tough, tough group. Yeah. Bergman was a tough guy, you know. He was, mm-hmm. he was, he was like he's a bit like he's Kevin Ferris, same yeah. kind of. Oh beat. yeah, yeah. He was toughest. So when was when when's when's when was peak Mark Felix? I mean, is is it? Have we seen it yet? I don't think so. Well, I've been training. Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. My, I mean, if you, if you look at my York and my farmers for the past couple, maybe last year, this year, it's been a, it was, it's been a lot faster. Have you noticed? Yes, I have, him. Yeah. I have, actually, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, so you, I'm still improving. You, you, your deadlift reps are still high? It's still high, yeah. One day you're going to get a rep in, in an overhead. I've got a feeling it's coming. <laughs> it's the coming. truth is, right, if Mark yeah. Felix, okay, mm. if we were to take away the points, in every contest you ever competed in, because sadly you already get the points taken away because you normally do a rep in overhead. Yeah. You're not bad. I mean, you're getting better, definitely. Yeah. But it's always been a weakness for you. Yeah. Always been a weakness. And actually, in even like how many Giants lives has been? Five events, one of them you've already zeroed. Yeah. And you still come like second, third, fourth. You, you were twice third at Europe's Strongest Man? Yeah. Yeah, even this year, if, if I get a rep in the, in the World's Strongest, that's it. I get a rep in the worst final. one this month. Brian Shaw would have been knocked out completely. You would have knocked Brian out. Yeah. You didn't get one rep in the log. No. Is it log? Yeah. Oh, feeling why? Why Why did the shoulders not grow? But well, you've you got massive shoulders. <laughs> to be fair, you, you've always had big shoulders. I've got big shoulders. I don't think this, I think it's the coordination. Yeah. That's really the coordination. I think, you know what, here's my theory, is because you're, you're so strong. Uh, yeah. You should never seem to kind of relax and, and hit it. Something sort of uptight about the way you look. You just, yeah. I don't know. Maybe those long arms for deadlift. Those right? this long Work arms. against you, man, are they? <laughs> up there and not enough leg drive. Have you ever met a man with bigger hands? Not yet. Not yet. Seriously. Have you ever gone hand to hand? Have you gone up against every strong man? There's, there is. Yeah, well, I've never met anyone. I think Phil, Phil Fister comes Phil Fister. Yeah. Phil Fister's fingers were so big you could put a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Through his wedding ring. Okay. Uh, that's a big finger. Yeah, that's a big finger. That's a big dude. His finger thicker. I got long fingers, but his one pretty thick. I feel like you should be able to do something. I guess you have. You've won the world. What's the secret for your grip then? Seeing as you are a grip, multi grip world champion, what training do you do? I do still do grip training, and but I do a lot of work with my hand. I do a lot of grabbing and stuff. Well, go on. Come on. Just spill the beans. Give us some secrets. What do you? How do you train your grip? What's the biggest thing you do for tra- grip training? Well, you do the, the crap in your crush. Yeah, you do other, yes, other stuff like that. You're hanging on the bars with your fingers and... I saw you stuff. climbing a rope. Climbing a rope. Unbelievable. You do it without your legs. You don't use legs, no. Well, how heavy are you? 
Who else? Well, I could do it. Well, you 140 kilo, 145 yeah, kilo? Yeah, 140. Yeah, I could still pull myself. Well, well over 300 pounds. And you, choo, 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 choo. Oh, yeah, no, I could just do it on here. Yeah. Well, Felix, you are just uh, 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 an enigma in many ways. You're, you're an extraordinary man. Um, and I'm glad you're still going, mate. And if your granny went to 106, I reckon you got 50 more years. So probably about 30 more years of competing before you have to retire. <laughs> I think it's possible, you know. I don't know, but long may it last, mate, because it, it, it's, it's, you see, you're getting better. Are, are you as strong now as you ever have been? Do you think you can, you can be as good again? Yes. I don't feel like if I'm losing my strength. You know, I'm still feeling strong. I'm feeling just get up and go person still. Yeah. You told, me, you told me in 2011 in Poland. Mm. You hurt your ankle, I think, or a calf. Mm. And you said to me, do you think I should retire? Yeah. And I said to you, come on, man, come back for one more year. You've been at it so long now, you might as well do one more year. That was over a decade ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, why did you think about retiring then? And what, you've never seemed to have thought about it ever since. What was caught, were you stressed at the time? I think it was a pressure. Yeah, not from, well, personal stuff I'm talking about. You, you, yeah, there was a time when you really had to earn, didn't you? you yeah, you were. Yeah. Kids and, and what, yeah, Kids it's, it's and tough, man. Kids and stuff. Yeah, so. you were a bit sad that day, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. But you came back, you okay, came back, okay. you gave it another go. Yeah, yeah. Here you are over a decade later. Wild Felix, oh, I, th I think the, 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 the Jim Pollock trophy is one of the great trophies you've won. Yes, yeah. so well, yeah, uh, and, 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 and deservedly so for being such a great personality yeah. in Strongman. So, you know, calm, friendly, generous, is what we should all strive for. Thank you very much for, for joining us, mate. Thank Are you welcome, man. Put it out.